Hi Masses! Well, I'm not really due back until Monday for the new set of films, but seeing as how I put up three videos on the wrong channel earlier on and therefore now have three different videos about the fire in Bolton, I thought I'd better post something so you knew that I wasn't actually changing the tack completely with this channel and that the vlogs and things like that would generally be on the other channels at JKR. So let's start with a casual Friday. <laughs> So anyone who's been looking at the channel itself can't fail to have seen the three videos about the fire in Bolton today. And what I want to talk to you mainly about is not the fire itself, but the comments that I've been receiving. The first one we had was an interesting one, where while looking at this video about a massive and raging inferno going on near a mosque in Bolton, someone decided to say that, hey, I was watching that from my house. Which is a, a bit of a strange comment to put on a, a video about a fire. It's the modern equivalent of, hey, I can see my house from here, but it's a fire. Geographical locations tend to go out of the windows. It's a fire. Was anyone hurt? Surely that's the first thing that will come to mind, not, hey, there's my house. No, because it, it's, it's not right. But the other one that I've had is, and... Let's face it, it was a fire near a mosque and therefore comments about Islam were going to come up. And this one was from a guy called Champagne Stevie and he said, Americans missed their intended target? Not really appropriate at the moment, Stevie. Although I have to admit, when I saw the flames and I was in Belton Town Centre, my initial thought was, oh good grief, someone set fire at the mosque. Because it was coming from that direction. But I'm glad to say that actually it was over the road. So it wasn't maliciousness, it was simply incompetence. Or perhaps it was maliciousness and it actually turns out to be arse. But what it seems to be is it was a fire in an MOT centre. So something's gone wrong with machinery and it's hit oil and things like that. And that's why the flames were so high. Because at one point they were going about 50 feet into the air. From my point of view it was amazing and a bit scary to watch. But at least from what I can tell it wasn't said deliberately and that's got to be a good thing. Another fire and explosion news. Support for the Liberal Democrats here in the UK seems to be exploding. And it all comes down to the fact that... The results are in for the local elections on the councils and most of the people who did a protest vote against Labour for the ele general election have now gone back to Labour. So all the people in the Lib Dem areas have now lost their seats and it's gone back to Labour. The Conservative Party has made a few gains but mainly Labour's got the, the big gains, Liberal Democrats have lost that a huge amount. And then to top it all off, the Liberal Democrats have been pushing for years, if not decades, for a reform to the voting system in Britain. And they got it. They got their, their referendum on it. And 70% of the population went, nah, I think we'll stick with what we've got. I'm seeing a lot of rather disappointed people on Twitter at the moment tweeting about how it's so unfortunate and how people just don't understand that what the Liberal Democrats were pushing for and what their supporters were pushing for was right for the country and if people could just think a bit more then we would all understand that it was so much better for us in the long run. But let's face it, the majority of people want to say I want X, if I get more votes for X then X wins. That's what they want, it's simple, it's quick and it can be counted on one night and it can be counted very quickly so we get the results in and we don't end up with hung parliaments again. People don't like hung parliaments in Britain and Let's face it, they had the chance at the election reform and people said no, they've got to stick with that now. That's it. Just accept it, play with it, enjoy it, do your best with it. And on that note, that's pretty much everything for fire and explosions from me today. This has been a casual Friday. You can expect a bit more of this next Friday. But before next Friday, I will be starting up again on Monday and we'll get the proper scheduling back into place. And until then, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching a video and I'll see you on Monday.